So if you just bought the Sony ZV-E10 brand new, it looks like this. And I want to show you how you can set it up nicely so you can get the best quality out of your new camera. So what you wanna do is make sure that you switch it on on top here. You have the on and off switch right here. So I'm gonna turn it on like this and then it's gonna come on like that using this wheel here to go up and down and select. So you can choose your language. My language is English like this. You can also set your date and time. So I'm gonna press enter and the area setting. So you come here to not set to date and time. So you can see it's saying not set right there. So I'm just gonna click in and then now I can set the date and time. So now I have the date and time set, everything is great. So now I just have to press enter, which is the middle button here. And that's good. And then I go down to enter and then it's done. And then it's gonna show you this page. You just press okay. And then the camera turns on and you can see up top here, it's saying that it's gonna record in XAV CSHD 50p and there's a lot of other settings that we're gonna have to change because this camera is a 4k camera you can see it says 4k here so what we want to do is go into the menu hit the menu like that and then we want to go to this second page here the second menu here and we want to go there and then we want to come down to where it says XAV C HD and we're gonna turn that to 4k like that and then now we've selected 4k and then we're gonna go down to record setting and then we're gonna go up to 100m so that's 100 megabytes so that's how you get the best quality out of it but if you have a smaller memory card you can leave it on 60m which is 60 megabytes per second that's up to you depending with your memory card but I like to keep it on the 100M so that you get the most quality out of this camera. So I'll select that, just like that. And then if we come back, you can see that it updated up top here, right? And then how you can set up everything else is you can use the FN button that's right here. So I can press that like this, and then you can see the menu here. So what you can do is you can turn off first the steady shot, which is on right here. So just pay attention to the screen right here where you can see that clock in the on the monitor right there as I change that. So if I do this, you can see that you can even see more on the screen because when you have that on, it crops into the image. So what you wanna do is you want to remove it from active to standard. You see, as I switch from active to standard, it removes that crop. This is the best, especially if you're gonna vlog. It means that you get a wider field of view at the expense of losing a little bit of stabili stabilization, but I think it'll be good enough. So I'll put it on standard just like that. And then next, what you also want to change is the soft skin effect. That's something that I'm not really interested in. So I can just turn that off and then there you go that's also off and then another thing you can also change is if I come here to shoot mode I can also change the shoot mode if I want to there's different shoot modes here you can change it to aperture priority or you can pick the manual exposure setting but if you're gonna be vlogging most of the time if you just want the blurry background all the time you can just leave it on aperture priority like this and then what you want to do is make sure that you just come to the wheel up top here and make sure that you choose 3.5 aperture or depending if you have a lens that can go on a different aperture maybe even um, lower than that so you choose your aperture like that and you can also go back on FN like this and then you can also change your white balance if you want to change your white balance here if you want to if you want to put a custom white balance you can also change the white balance like that if you want if you want to keep it on auto you can keep it on auto but it's gonna keep changing every time you film I like to keep my white balance on 5500k like that so that the white balance stays like that if you also want to access picture profiles like s-log and all the other ones you can come here to pp 
right now currently it's off but you can change that by just scrolling like this as you can see on the screen the image is changing like that then you choose your picture profile but for now I'm going to leave it on off another thing that you also want to remove is the overheating setting you also want to change the overheating setting so when it comes to the overheating setting you can find it right here by the briefcase section here and then you just go down to to the power setting option and then you click there and then you go down to auto power off temp and then you go inside there and you remove that to high like this it says here the temperature of the device may rise to prioritize recording time would you like to change the setting i will say okay it means that the camera will just get a little bit more hot but it will record for longer without overheating so these are the best settings that i can recommend that you set up immediately after buying this camera so that you can uh, get to shooting i hope you found this video helpful if you have drop this video a like and also subscribe if you have any questions drop them down below Thanks for watching.